How's it going everybody? Coming to you today from the garage because I wanted to talk to you about a helmet that I found online. Now, riding the more classic style bikes like these two, I wanted a more classic style helmet. Uh, you know, I've got a full face uh, adventure helmet and I had a full face uh, street helmet, but I wanted something, you know, a little bit more uh, old school, if you will. And I originally bought this G-Max helmet here. And it's a good helmet. It's big, gives you mushroom head. You know, big, thick helmet. Comfortable, and it works. But it just didn't give me the look that I was looking for. It's DOT rated, it's safety, all of that good stuff. And then I stumbled across an ad on, of all places, Facebook. Now, you know how Facebook is. They read everything and know what you're looking at. And thanks to the internet, everybody knows everything that you're looking at. But anyway, I digress. Uh, I saw an ad for a company called Beanie Helmets. And I was like, eh, I don't know about this. Usually I don't trust Facebook ads. So I went to Beanie Helmets. And they advertise as having no mushroom head, one of the smallest, most compact DOT certified helmets that you can get. Their helmets only weigh like one pound, five ounces, one pound, 10 ounces, depending on which one you pick, but they're under two pounds. I was very skeptical to say the least. So I reached out to them, contacted them, said, I've got a YouTube channel. I would like to try one of your helmets for review. Will you give me a discount on one? And, uh, and, you know, complete open honesty, they sent me this one for free. Now, the one that they sent me is their polo style uh, helmet. It is DOT FMVSS certified. So, I don't know exactly what that is, but it is DOT certified. They call it their polo style. It's got the small little brim there. This one weighs in at roughly one pound, five ounces. It has a quick disconnect, ratcheting type lock, super nice. So much better than having to use one of these. You take it off, I mean, it's just, it's off. Anyway, so these are DOT regulated. Uh, this one is, like I said, it's their Polo style has a small brown. It's a good looking helmet. Uh, quick detach, quick, uh, you know, pull the lever, comes off. So that's super nice and handy. And if you put it on, you can see it is much more low profile than the. Uh, G Max here. And even if you throw on a set of goggles, you know, it looks pretty good. It's comfortable, it's lightweight, it has that lower profile, so you get much less mushroom head. Now, I wasn't really for sure about the brim, if I liked that or not. And uh, I kind of go back and forth on it. Uh, it does okay, except that if you don't have this pretty darn snug at certain speeds, it'll catch wind and it'll try to push it back like that. So even with the goggles on, the brim, if you don't have it snug, it has to be snug, it'll try to lift. So quick connect, Just whip it around. There we go. Looks good. Throw on a set of goggles. Not bad. Even if you, which I don't recommend this, but even if you uh, wear sunglasses. It doesn't look bad. Still got the quick disconnect. Turn it around, wear sunglasses in the front with the uh, Little bill. A 
Not a bad little helmet. And like I said, it uh, does much better looks wise than this guy right here. See how much bigger, how much larger it makes the head look. And even if you go with goggles, go ahead and strap it down, give it an apples to apples comparison. See how much more mushroom head I have with this one. Much quicker on and off, much lighter, ready to ride, much faster. DOT regulated. Looks pretty good, you know, with sunglasses, which I hardly ever wear sunglasses. I usually always wear goggles, but you can do both. Not a bad looking helmet. I really wasn't sure on the bill. Uh, they have several different ones. Uh, like I said, this one's called their polo style. They have one that I really wanted to try called the Mayan. Uh, and I think it would look great on this military bike. It's kind of more of a military style helmet. Beanie helmets, you can find them online. They are DOT regulated. Is it gonna focus? focus not gonna focus right, anyway DOT regulated uh, FMV SS number 212 certified is what it says here on the back they're comfortable they're lightweight they look good um, I was really happy to find it now you know I've only ridden about somewhere between 350 500 miles with it if you look this one is the G-Max. It's got the same DOT certification as the Beanie. So you can see kind of the thickness difference on the inside, how much more that one will stick out than this one. And so far after, you know, 350 to 500 miles, I'm, I'm happy with it. You know, it's comfortable, it's lightweight. I found that normally I will try to adjust it and wear it backwards like this, it's uh, much less likely to catch wind that way. And I think it looks really good with these goggles. And if you wear it backwards, that little bit of a brim right there, that helps hold your goggles on. So quick disconnect is awesome. I never knew how, mad, how bad I needed a quick disconnect until I got this helmet. Um, lightweight, one pound, five ounces, no mushroom head, comfortable, DOT certified, lightweight. What more do you need? Uh, I was very hesitant with them coming, you know, like I said, from a Facebook ad, but after wearing this, I'm very happy with it. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Maybe actually out on the road instead of in the garage. Have a good one. Bye.